My guests tonight are four of the world's comedians. Trevor Locke, Chris Mayo, Chris Mayo even, a very funny name. What a cracking career move this lad has made! From office junior to rocking guitar hero! Now, Chris, uh, can I ask you something? Has anyone ever said this to you before, that you look a bit like Shaggy from Scooby-Doo? <laughs> <laughs> yes, on a daily basis. Thank you for bringing that, Paul, and just rubbing that into my face. I get it on a daily basis, people just running up to me, Shaggy, 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 you fucker, there's no need for it. Someone actually, someone actually came up to me the other day and said, oh, you mate, you look like Shaggy from Scooby-Doo, as if suffixing it with from Scooby-Doo was absolutely necessary. Oh, what, the R&B superstar? Yeah, get down, motherfucker, there's no... <laughs> no need for that, but, um... And we warm up gently with our celebrity general knowledge rounds. Some questions from these cards. Trevor and Chris, you're going to go first. Who is Cheryl Cole? going to manage? Uh, is it um, the Arsenal? <laughs> I, think, I think she probably could manage most of them, couldn't she? But all at once, Paul, do you think? Really? I mean, there's a lot of them. There's 11, Paul. Well, uh, it'd be uh, five at the back, three in the middle, two at the front, and uh, two, two being wanked off on the sides. <laughs> oh, the 5-3-2-2 two, two formation, yeah. yes. Yeah. It's lovely to be here. I do like travelling around with stand-up, go to lots of different places, and my friends don't really approve. They say, Chris, why go to London for a gig? You'll only get mugged and bummed. Uh, I decided to reassure those people and everyone here tonight. That's only happened to me once uh, this evening. But um, <laughs> who knows the night is young? <laughs> Isn't that right, sir? Looking at me, I thought I can only describe as rapey eyes. But uh, that's <laughs> nice. Good. Uh... You're listening to George and Mayo's Funny Bits on 93.7 Express FM. Cheeky. Well, isn't it? Yeah, not really. Um, so that was Gabrielle Kill Me with her lovely song, Sweet About Me, uh, which was, I think that's really good. I really like it. It's a great tune, actually. I've never heard it before. Yeah, so, well. Um, listen. Well, look, <laughs> apparently she's, apparently I've heard that she's 16 on the grapevine. Rubbish. Do you not, do you not think that's true? No. I don't know. How old is she? Because lots of these people are Not important, young. Hannah. Not important. We've got a show to do. We're so close. And you're <laughs> so dabbling around with autobiographical information. <laughs> Not relevant. Here at uh, George and Mayo's Funny Bits, we're always, you know, looking to welcome new talent to our funny bits, uh, something which Hannah does on a regular basis. <laughs> so I'm reminded. Um, but yeah, we're going we're gonna to be Sorry, talking... can I just intercede here? That's uh, Intercede? Intercede, did you hear is that? Is that what you say? <laughs> to whom is Kelly Osborne engaged? Uh, McDonald's. Um, <laughs> right. So you guys are students, and what, what do you say? Economics, okay, what, what do you guys say? Physics. Computer science. Good, I can sense the theme in this front row. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't been out in 10 years. <laughs> 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 but all this light is very exciting for you, isn't it? Good, good stuff. So, I'm sorry, we promised we wouldn't take this out of the front row. We just labeled you freaks of the universe. Fantastic. Contestants, you will have to leap in with a celebrity fact that relates to the number. And the first number. Is the number <laughs> 55. Uh, 55 is the average age uh, of all 56-year-olds. <laughs> so I, I do a lot of travelling around, as I was saying. I live in London. Give me a cheer if you live in London. <laughs> yeah, brilliant. London's a very stressful place to live, I think. I've come up with a few rules of what I think will make society better, mainly for me. But you might feel you can relate to these as well. The first rule is you're only allowed two consecutive sneezes during any one session. Nobody needs more than two sneezes. Two sneezes is ample. One sneeze, bless you, save a fairy, have a hug, skip around. Lovely day, everyone feels jolly. That's very nice. Two sneezes, fair enough. You might have a cold, no friends, that's fine. Three sneezes, three sneezes, fuck off. Nobody needs three sneezes. Doing three sneezes is like going up to somebody in a wheelchair and doing a tap dance. We all know you can do it. Stop rubbing it in. There's no need to showing off. It's not nice. Um, that's the first rule. Uh, if you've got that much mucus in your face, you should just be sat at home with a bag over it. Um, waiting for death, that's my opinion, that's the first rule. Uh, the second rule, guys, you only need five shakes of your cock after you've been for a piss. That's ample, we all know the system. One, two, three, four, five, and tuck. That's the system. If you've still got fluid coming out after five shakes, you're still pissing. There's... You've misjudged it, go back, try again. There's no... I was stood next to someone in the toilet earlier, 24 shakes. Um, yeah, I counted. Um, 24 shakes. I said, mate, what are you doing? Uh, turns out he was wanking, so that's fine. Uh, but if you are going to do that, sir, uh, I would ask you don't do it in public because it just fucks up my system. That's the second rule. 
Third rule, quite simply, when you're in public, don't groan when you're having a poo. Don't groan when you're having a poo. There's no need for it. Evolution sort of sorted it out. That when you get that tight little feeling in your stomach, something's going to come out of your ass. It's probably going to be poo. Don't draw attention to yourself. It's bad enough knowing you're a foot away from another man's gaping anus. It's not pleasant. It's not pretty. You're right in there, Dave. Oh, it's not a sex. It's a shit. Get on with it. It's not... It's not if that partition came up in the middle, it'd be like some fucked up version of Blind Date. Here's what you could have won! Oh, it's not... It's not good. Um, give me a cheer if you're in a relationship.